Welcome back everyone, Zeke Morgan here for an extra special video. Today we're going to be showcasing some of the For Honor alpha footage that we captured uh, just a couple of weeks ago. And my apologies, it has taken a while for us to get this footage out. Uh, to cut a long story short, we've had some uh, problems with our internet service provider that sort of slowed us down. As you can see, it is the pre-release stage, it is the alpha. Um, if you are interested to play in this, when it goes to a beta section, you can check it out on the Ubisoft website, uh, for which I will leave a link in the description uh, of the video below. And of course, um, hopefully you enjoy all this alpha stage. We will be putting up a couple of videos about this regarding the different uh, classes, the Knights, the Vikings, and the Samurais. In this particular video, all 16 minutes of it, we will be playing as the Samurai. And as I said, the other video will go out uh, probably in the next few days where we fight as the Knights and the Vikings. Uh, please don't hesitate to leave any comments of the combat or the game in the comments section below and let me know which one you particularly like and of course if you do want to see more videos of this in the future when it comes up to the beta or indeed when the game releases let me know and I'll be more than glad to do it. Of course if you do enjoy this video uh, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe and as always stay tuned for more videos. So throughout this episode I will be sort of uh, stopping talking and uh, having a little bit of a look at the game. So if I do happen to uh, stop commentating, please don't think there's anything wrong. I'm just getting content with this game. So for now, I'll go through the practice mode really quickly and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so after mimicking the enemy's guard there, we've just got to defend a couple of attacks there. And also you just do this by mimicking their guard, they pretty much hit your own defense line. And of course now we're going to learn how to attack. Uh, light attack R1, heavy attack R2 on the PlayStation 4. Okie dokie, and... Oh. Well, I was a bit silly there, I was uh, still mimicking their guard the guard and a nice little sort of hit, three hit combo then I believe I did light heavy light so that's always brilliant and I was hoping at this stage I could sort of jump up to him but unfortunately not gonna have to go around the enemies do feel a little bit clunky at the beginning but it could be that I just haven't got used to them yet and you forget probably with the amount of armor and everything they were carrying it isn't exactly that easy to move around there so we got sprinting do, 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 do. Capture the zone, so this is going to be one of the main things that the online gameplay is about. If you go for sort of uh, capture the flag, or I don't know what they're going to call it, uh, but when you're capturing zones, this is going to be the main focal point of it. So we better learn really quickly how to do it. Stay the zones and get one point per second. Not an awful lot, but I'm sure that time will just fly by, especially if you capture different zones or anything. But who knows, maybe we might even get a nice little game in at the end of this video, which I do plan to. Soldiers, obviously bot-controlled AIs then, don't really need to worry about them so much. Do a nice little uh, roll then, and just start chopping them down as much as possible. And I'm guessing the green bar underneath the health is stamina then. Okay. 
and by the looks of it you can hurt your own teammates there, so that's uh, going to be quite interesting, and I'm going to have to try and remember that when we're playing online. And I think I've pushed them back there. There we go, my troops will just move up, and there we go, captured zone B as well. Okie dokie, so checkpoint reached, and I'm guessing it's going to try and make me go over to C. Hmm, with a conveniently placed ladder. Gotta love that. This stage we're at sea and this enemy is giving me a little bit more of a run for my money. We are meant to be dodging their attacks, but I thought, stuff it, why not? Let's just uh, repost with some of our own and get that zone, which is now contested, which means, oh, okay, uh, enemy just decided he wanted to uh, come up behind me then. Always intriguing, so square and R1 to break the guard. That's probably going to come in quite handy, especially if you're in a bit of a stalemate situation. That guy looked like he was just stood on one leg then for a bit. A bit strange, but never mind, I'm not going to complain. So there, Dad, Objective C is secured and practice is complete. It's going to just run us through now. So we've got matchmaking for domination, player versus player, player versus AI, and private matches then. So that's quite good. We've got dual matchmaking, so it's player versus player again then, and brawl. So an awful lot of focus then online, which we knew it was going to. Of course we've got some doors, balls and domination. I think I'm going to concentrate more on the domination there, try and get loads of people involved. And of course keeping up the challenges then available. So you get what looks like coins and experience there, which I'm sure we can use to upgrade characters, but who knows. So without further ado, I think we're going to jump into our first domination match then. We're looking at player versus player then to get us nicely started with it. Of course, if you do have any comments uh, about the game, what you enjoy seeing me do, or you would like more videos on it, uh, please leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, if you enjoy this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like, comment, share, and even subscribe to stay up to date with all my newly released videos there. And after that lovely sort of cinematic opening, the game will begin rush out the gates with all our lovely lovely AI controlled minions, bots, soldiers take your pick on your choices there and we're going to begin the journey of capturing the zone so for each zone you capture it's 100 points to your team obviously you're getting a point a second for each one you hold um, if you lose it I do believe you lose those 100 points as well and we're going to get stuck in then round the zone B then with the enemies and I believe he just used a revenge thing there but it's not too bad and with a combination of the guys sweeping attacks and the small minions around there I'm actually down for the first time so hopefully we don't see too much of that throughout this game it is going to jump straight back in as quickly as possible and little bond well there got confused on the buttons thought X was run for a split second and so far they are sort of getting the lead on us there they've got C and B we've only got A but I'm thinking being a little bit sneaky they're all at B trying to grab that let's head around to C and go secure that and it just seems there's one person in C it does also look like I have one of my AI teammates, or not my AI teammates, my human teammates, so that's quite nice. And there we go, let's just stab him in the back while he's not paying attention. 
There we go. He's down. My teammate's still standing, and we've contesting the zone. Oh, and the cheeky guy there. Because we didn't notice in time, we managed to get his teammate up again. So we're going to have to actually take them both down now. And of course, everyone's going to try and pitch in now. Pretty much getting everyone attacking from every angle. Come on. There's an enemy dead. I'm probably going to go down now again myself. Yeah, he just caught me then. If you saw, I went for the heavy attack. But unfortunately, he managed to get that a couple of seconds earlier than me. And I'm sure he's going to revive his guy when we're away there. It's not too bad. So far, they haven't said anything about score limits, but I'm enjoying it nonetheless. Quite visually stunning, and it's quite difficult changing those guards on the fly with human characters controlling them. So, of course, in true samurai fashion, let's just get stuck straight back into the fight and start destroying some of these small soldiers. Of course, you get one point per soldier. I believe we saw five points for killing in human controlled character and let's see if I can actually get uh, a human kill and not have his teammate actually pick him up. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Oh. Ah, so what I should have really said there is press and hold circle to revive. I was just pressing it and wondering why he wasn't getting up. And my main challenge now is let's see if we can possibly get an execution or something. If there's executions in the game. That should be quite nice. Drink a smoke bomb then to get rid of the block. And of course we have seen there uh, that there is sort of what could be classed as friendly fire on it, so you can't just go swinging wildly near the enemy. You've got to sort of pick your fights, pick your uh, attacks quite gently there, because you never know who you're going to hit. And unfortunately just missed out on that execution there, it came up with square triangle, and I completely misjudged it, but uh, who knows, maybe we might get a second chance coming up. And of course the better we're doing throughout the fight, uh, the more sort of our experience bar in the bottom left hand corner fills up. Of course that will give us certain sort of perks for want of a better word. We've got the smoke bombs which is the second, the infinite run which is the first. Um, can't quite work out the next two but it looks maybe like some health regen or something like that. Of course it doesn't seem like we have a natural health progression so that's always a good thing. And uh, this is what we call overkill in the game. We've got three of our own guys just slamming into that. Oh. Okay, I saw that one coming. Aha! And I missed out on the second execution. Ah, uh, I do promise I will try and get one. Ah, there we go. Ooh, ouch! Straight down his spine then. But hey, very nice and a nice little touch there. Of course, you can't get those all the time, so it's. Uh, always worth it. And just had a little bit of a look. We're losing good points there, I believe. So we better get stuck in and start getting these points back. So, kill the minions. Kill the minions. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Of course, they don't put up much of a fight, but there's tons of them around. You can't sort of get complacent at all. Of course, if I am destroying those, then I can't really lock on and be too good against the enemy. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Third one it is health, so that's always brilliant. And oh, there we go, we got the execution there as well. Now we've managed to turn this around quite quickly as well. We are now leading the board. And another spinal tap. Love it. So let us continue on to this journey and hopefully we take A. So of course, if you don't have enough human air-controlled characters for a match, they will substitute them with bots, and it does look like there's going to be some sort of kill limit as well. We saw two kills to go, or two more to go till we win. It's going to be quite intriguing. And just getting stuck in with these guys, making sure 
but they don't overrun B. We don't want to be losing our points at this short space of time. And it looks like the score limit's almost reached as well. Okay, ooh, coming very close there. 1,100, 1,035, 7... distance game there. I think the next kill that happens will be... Ooh, mine with an evisceration! Oof, I feel bad for that guy. But never mind. And let's go get C to probably end the game there with the points difference. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Stabby. Now. And there we go, we have victory there. Thank you very much for watching this video of the Alpha. Stay tuned for more videos and I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.